there's never been a better time to learn to code. Now we don't need to waste time searching for coding answers on Google just to find a bunch of ads or posting questions on Stack Overflow, only to receive no replies, negative votes, or have our question closed. Now we can simply ask ChatGPT any question we have 24-7 and get answers quickly. ChatGPT isn't a flawless tool, but if used wisely, it can boost your learning. And in this video, I want to show you how to use ChatGPT to learn to code if I could start over. So let's get started. Okay, first I will start with an easy programming language and use ChatGPT to clear up my doubts. If I could choose my first programming language, I will start with a programming language that gently gets me into the world of coding. This is very important because you don't want to feel frustrated so often when learning to code. Instead, your first programming language should easily help you learn core coding concepts that will be essential regardless of what you're learning coding for. Now as beginners, we always have questions that we feel embarrassed to ask. Well, now you can ask ChatGPT even the dumbest coding question you have because a bot will never judge how dumb or repetitive your question is. You can also ask ChatGPT what's the difference between some coding concepts, for example, what's the difference between a function and a method, or what's the difference between an attribute and a method, or whatever you want, and you can even Ask ChatGPT to provide examples so you can have a better understanding of the topic. By using ChatGPT, you can clear up all your doubts. But as OpenAI says, ChatGPT can generate incorrect information, so if you suspect something isn't right, that will check the answer by asking the same question to somebody else. Now, in regard to the programming language I will start with, I will choose Python because of its simplicity and versatility. As a beginner, you might have a vague idea of what you want to specialize in in the future, but that might change change throughout your journey. Now you might want to become a machine learning engineer, for example, but then you could make up your mind and go for web development. That happens to many of us. But if you learn a multipurpose language like Python, you could still apply what you learned in the areas you're interested in. And remember, once you have a strong foundation in one programming language, you can move on to learning another language and popular frameworks in your field. To learn Python, I will watch free tutorials and buy Python courses that help me master the core coding concepts. In fact, I'm going to leave some free and paid Python courses in the description of this video. Those are the courses that I will take if I could start over. And believe it or not, ChatGPT can assist you after watching an online lecture that you didn't understand. Say you're watching a lecture from an online course and something isn't working as shown in the video, or you don't understand the explanation given. Now you can make Chat ChatGPT analyze the entire script provided in your course and explain something that isn't clear. You no longer have to leave a question and wait days to get a reply. You won't be stuck on a coding problem for hours like in the past. And yes, you could post a question on Stack Overflow, but you won't get responses as fast as with ChatGPT. Besides, with ChatGPT, we can go beyond asking the typical question that you will post on Stack Overflow. We could start a long conversation with ChatGPT, just like with our private teacher, and just stop when our curiosity is satisfied. In this conversation, we could ask for a detailed explanation of a particular line of code we didn't understand. We could ask for alternative solutions and how a specific library or function works. If you start seeing ChatGPT less as a tool that can do your homework and more as a tool that can enhance your learning, you'll be able to make the most of it. Just don't hold back and let your curiosity run free. Okay, another thing I will do to learn to code fast is learn to automate tasks. When we learn something like coding, there is always that first excitement that keeps us going no matter what. But that excitement stage is short and then we don't know what to do next. This is bad because we need to keep practicing in order to master our first programming language, otherwise we end up forgetting things. And what most people do here is to solve projects. And that's not a bad idea, but some people get too excited and they start solving very complex things, such as machine learning, artificial intelligence, or a project that involves both the back end and the front end. That's too much if you're a beginner, or even at the intermediate level. As a result, you slow down your learning and end up frustrated. A better idea is to apply our knowledge to something easy yet useful for our lives. This helps us get a sense of achievement that keeps us going even when we reach a plateau. 
automating our everyday tasks can provide that sense of achievement. Everyone has some repetitive and boring tasks that we need to do on a daily basis. Instead of wasting time doing it manually, we could let our computer take care of those tasks with the help of some lines of code. Python has hundreds of libraries that we can use to automate our life. You only need to come up with a fun project to keep you motivated. And you can even use ChatGPT to give you the steps on how to automate any boring task that you can come up with. In that way, you'll know the libraries you need to learn and the steps you need to follow. For example, you can tell ChatGPT that you want to automate Tinder with Python and you can ask the steps you need to follow. In case you're trying to solve the project on your own, you can use ChatGPT to review your code and check readability in your code, efficiency ask for alternative solutions, and even ask ChatGPT to debug your code. You can also watch YouTube tutorials that teach you how to automate common tasks. And in case the script provided in the tutorial isn't working, instead of leaving a comment hoping someone in the comment section will give you a hand, you only need to copy the code and ask ChatGPT what's the issue. As a last resort, you can always make ChatGPT write the entire script to automate a task you have in mind. ChatGPT will build the script from scratch. Of course, you shouldn't blindly copy-paste the code, but try to understand it and ask all the questions you have. Okay, the third thing I'll do to learn to code if I could start over is solving projects. Solving projects is key to learning to code. Projects provide an opportunity for you to practice all the concepts and skills you have learned. It's not enough just to memorize a bunch of code and functions, but you should apply them in a project. You could start with well-known projects that already have a solution on a YouTube video, and then move on to unique projects that are about topics you like. Here's how I'll use ChatGPT to guide me towards the solution of a project. First, I will choose a project and break it down into small pieces. And if I'm not able to do it, I will ask ChatGPT to do it for me. Say my project consists in using Python to predict the winner of football matches. To break down this project, I'll ask ChatGPT, I want to predict the winner of football matches using Python. What steps should I follow? Now you can start a conversation to understand things much better. In my case, the bot split the project in six chunks. First, it's telling me to collect data. So I can ask, where can I find this data? If you're not happy with the answer given, you can ask again. For example, here it's telling me the places where I can find this data. But that's not enough. If I want to scrape those websites, I need the link. So I can ask, can you provide the links of such websites? And ChatGPT will give me the links. This helps you come up with an approach to solve this project on your own. And once you start writing code to solve the project, you might get stuck. Here's when you can Google a question, check a stack overflow, ask people on Discord, or of course, ask ChatGPT. If you use the latter, you only need to copy and paste your code and then describe Describe your problem using as many details as possible, and then start a conversation with ChatGPT. Once you solve your doubts, you can continue with your project, and repeat this process until you successfully finish your project. Alright, the last thing I'll do to learn to code is solving coding problems. An important step to learn to code is solving exercises. There are many websites where you can find coding problems like Lead Code and Code Wars. On both websites, you'll find exercises available in many programming languages and levels from beginner to advanced. You can try to solve them on your own and then check out the solution. And if something isn't clear, you can make ChatGPT solve the exercise and explain in detail anything you want. I will also start solving coding interview problems. No matter how good you are at coding, if you want to get a job, you need to start solving interview problems. On YouTube, there are many videos that solve common coding interview problems. You might even come across questions that were asked by big tech companies like Google and Facebook. And that's it. That's how we'll use ChatGPT to learn to code if I could start over. Let me know in the comment section below how you use ChatGPT to learn to code. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.